term by now. But is that you, Norbert? Oh, fie. I got my hopes up for naught. Wait, listen. Would you be willing to search for my brother? The brave fool said he was going to look for herbs and went off into the forest. I've seen no sign of him since. I'd go and search for him myself, only... Only... It is a dangerous place. Understand? I, I'm not afraid of monsters, but it would hardly help anything if I were to run in there unprepared and get myself hurt now, would it? So I thought, mayhap you'd go in my place. You look like you could manage those woods better than I. Please, sir, I worry for my brother. Many thanks. Right, as for where I think he's gone, go into the forest and turn when you reach the tree with the bird's nest, keeping the cliff to your right. Ah, oh, this won't work, will it? I could see the root in my mind's eye, but my feet know it better than I do. I don't think I could plot it on a map, and it's hard to describe, but my brother and I are the only ones who use that path, to my knowledge. I suppose there's only one thing for it. I'll have to show you the way. Just be alert. The monsters of the forest have changed since the dragon's attack. I'll need you to watch over me, keep me safe. You will, won't you? Right. In we go, then. My life's in your hands, friend. We ought not to dawdle when our aid is sorely needed. I hope you slept well. Oh, what luck! Tis a chest. Not all chests contain treasure, you know. Seems naught ever goes right. Oh, the sun! Light of yon ox cart has brought all my fatigue to the fore. Shall we climb aboard? They can be most convenient, though they travel only during the day. I'll carefully conserve my strength and endeavor to survive every battle by way of Come to think of it, different masters favor different horns. One whom I served preferred to have beastrons for allies. I'll be sure to keep that in mind. Look, Master, a treasure chest. We shall have to find a way to reach it. Come along. This is a good spot. I've camped here with my brother many a time. No doubt he caught his breath here before moving on, same as us. They're a useful in follow me. I'll gather these now. It would be a shame to forget their location when we need them most.
These faces have grown mightily familiar. That explains the harmony betwixt us. me. We ought press on, lest ought before my brother. Can anyone hear me? Please. Norbert, are you hurt? No sense letting the enemy gain the upper hand. The early Christian gets the worm, as they say. I thought I was done for. Aye, oh, it was a near thing. How are you feeling? I think I'll be all right. But if you hadn't come for me, I... Thanks, Ian. Save your thanks, Norbert. I'm your brother. And I ought have come sooner. From where I'm standing, all that matters is that you made it in time. Anyway, I'm eager to be rid of this place. Let's return to the village, shall we? The sooner the better. I've got to deliver these medicinal herbs to the people who need them. Ah, you'll hear no complaints from me. Let's be off then. Let us proceed with portion, keeping an eye on our charge at all times. Here you are, Master. I hope you like it. I found it myself. There's a worthy prize, if only twerned so far away. A material. Useful things, these. A different combinations of materials result in different creations. Back at last. That 
was an ordeal. I I'm exhausted, but I can rest after I've delivered these herbs. I'll be back soon. Good on you. Just take care, all right? You wonder why I don't follow him? So long as he stays away from that forest, he'll be fine on his own. When my brother told me he was going to fetch those herbs, I refused to join him. Said it was too dangerous. What with the monsters acting strangely of late. And I was right. I mayhap none of this would have happened had I only gone with him. My brother is always the one taking the initiative. While I stand around with my hands in my pockets. But today's misadventure showed me that the path forward is the one with fewer regrets. Even when you can't be sure where it leads. We managed to save Norbert. And perhaps that's all that matters. Still, I can't help but wonder if I couldn't have spared him some of the pain and fear he suffered. If I'd only steeled myself sooner. So from now on, I'm going to trust in my own instincts. There again will I let fear stop me from doing what I know to be right.